Okay, we, we are going to start now. Uh, please uh, grab some fruit. It's good for the Hanover. Uh, thank you to Momumio for, for the fruit. Um, we are going to start with a talk about accessibility. Okay? Uh, Ramon Corominas is going to, to show us how to make up accessible uh, web applications. So, Ramon. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you all for coming today after tonight's party. Um, okay, I will talk about accessibility. Many of you maybe don't know anything about uh, what is accessibility. Uh, so, I will start talking about the... Uh, sorry, this is working. Now, okay. Talking about the code. The code is for me, it's like the force of the Star Wars uh, saga. Uh, code is something that most users don't know about. Most users they don't know a word about the code, but they always feel their effect. So if we code uh, well, probably our users will have a good user experience. But if we follow the dark side, if we code uh, in a wrong way, probably our users will have a bad user experiences or even they will not be able to access content. The dark side, the bad code, is the easy way. You can uh, code very quickly, you can do many things without caring about your code, but it is not the good way. It is just to, to go fast. But maybe you are thinking that you are only a soldier because your boss is always telling you, uh, quick, quick, I want uh, results for tomorrow. But uh, you are the only one that can change this situation. Because you are the people that have the technical knowledge to inform your boss, to uh, prevent your boss about the bad possibilities of the bad code. And you will be able to convince him, your boss, uh, about how to do things better. So, I want to recruit you for the course. <laughs> I want you to be a Jedi or at least a Padawan to, go, to make good code. And I will tell you more or less uh, how to do some of these things in the field of accessibility. In this case, I will talk about accessible, rich internet application. This means that you can do everything, you can do more or less uh, everything with your JavaScript code and uh, it will not affect accessibility. Indeed, it will improve accessibility most of the time. So, we start with why ARIA, you see that is accessible, rich internet applications with accessible in the first place. So, uh, I will talk about uh, three different things here. But uh, first, I want to introduce you the screen reader. A screen reader is the tool that most, uh, that every blind user uh, uses to access content. <coughs> the screen reader is a, is a tool, is a program that reads aloud the content. It also uh, sends the, the code, the, the, the content to a braille, a braille system if, if it is needed. But uh, in this case, I will present you uh, Joe's. This is the most user screen reader. So. Jaws for Windows is ready. PowerPoint slideshow dash left. Okay, this is Joe's. And I will change to Firefox. Oh, tab. Aria example colon live regions dash Mozilla Firefox. Okay, we have here Firefox. And uh, I will change the speed <laughs> so you can understand him. Slower, it. slower, slower. Okay. And I can change. Tab, live regions, visited link. You can see that Shift I have. Tab, aria landmarks, visit tab, live region tab, radio dash group colon dark. Okay. This is my mm, start web page. I will show you these examples. But you can see that I'm using the tab key to navigate the different links here. And I'm using different uh, keyboard keys always to uh, navigate the content. Okay, I will Unloading stop. Jaws. Enter. Thank you. 
So um, let's come back here. So this is the screen reader. It is a personal interpreter that can uh, tell you how to uh, how the content is. Uh, it can tell you obviously uh, the content itself. But in this case, I will talk about accessibility. I will talk about how to do these things that uh, so the screen reader can interpret it. Uh, okay, it is not working now. Okay, yes, no. Okay, first I will talk about area landmarks. Landmarks are like the map of your website. If you mm, create a website without uh, any information about the structure of the website, uh, the screen reader user will have to uh, to run across the whole content of the page to reach every uh, zone of the content. So landmarks are a very easy way to implement uh, zone recognition for the screen reader. Uh, here I have the main uh, attributes that you have to use. In this case, I'm talking about uh, static HTML. But we have two uh, attributes. The first one is the role, the landmark role in this case. And then we have a area label, label that uh, can identify the zone in the content. We have uh, many different roles in Y area. The main uh, attribute is the role, but we have something. Some some of these roles uh, are specific for navigation. In this case, we have these roles. I have uh, the banner for the main title of the page. I have navigation for the navigation for menus for the interface. I have also search for searching uh, tools for search box and so on. I have also a main for the main content. This is one of the most important in this case. And I have also content info that is metadata about the content. For example, uh, tags, categories, the date, these kind of things. And we have also the role complementary. This is for related information to the to the content. So how to implement this? This is very easy. You have only to mark up your code this way. So I have the normal code, divs, and so on, and I only have to add the role with the different uh, roles for navigation, and also the area uh, label that identifies this content. I have here, you see, the main title of the web page, of the, of the web document in this case, the navigation, and also, uh, for example, here in the content, I have the main content info and uh, complementary. So, I will show you how this works in the screen reader. Yes. Jaws for Windows is ready. PowerPoint slides. Alt tab. Microsoft using wide. Alt tab. Alt tab. Right. Here. Slower. Slower. Tab. Radio dash group colon pat shift shift tab. Live regions shift tab. Aria landmark enter. Example colon aria landmark complementary. Okay. We have here set up with a uh, aria landmarks. You cannot see anything. This is the situation of the blind user, really. So I will move. I have changed some things uh, so I can move through the different zones and with the through the different sections. Tab, browser, tab, navigation, to tab, search, tab, frame, roll equals quote. Wait a minute. Shift, ah, tab, okay. related films, landmark, region. Okay. Uh, tab, brow, tab, tab, search, tab, frame, roll equals quote, okay. complement, tab, Star Wars main header, landmark, region. This is the main heading, the main header. Tab, Star Wars main header, banner, landmark, region, Here. main menu, landmark, region. You hear that the screen reader reads this two times, twice, because um, I am inside a landmark. Tab, search this site landmark region. Tab, episode IV colon a new hope landmark region. Okay, whoops. 
app, relationship okay, I have app, the content info app, and films, this thing is here. Region. You hear that the screen reader is reading everything in the web page and I will show up also the control apostrophe. Wait. Escape. Uh, control apostrophe. Landmarks dialog. Okay. Tree view. This is the landmarks dialog. I can also uh, get a list of all landmarks in my web page. So here I can show you. Uh, probably you see it, but I cannot see it very well. <laughs> so here I have the different landmarks. Uh, this is a list, and this is a tree list. I have also the possibility to go through the different levels. Okay. So this is a very good thing for users and as you can see it's very Escape. easy to example implement unloading jaws enter example call thank you again okay uh, wait a minute yeah okay these are landmarks but uh, landmarks are really a static a static content i'm not using javascript for the moment so i will show you some uh, dynamic content lib regions are used to identify zones of the page that change that uh, zones where I update content with JavaScript usually, obviously. Uh, so with the lib regions, I can uh, tell the screen reader that something is changing. Because if, if I don't inform the screen reader about these changes, the screen reader will not uh, know about them. You can see them, but the screen reader cannot. So in this case, I have also roles. The roles are uh, uh, in this case are different, but the attribute is the same. And I have also the aria leave uh, attribute that uh, is used to tell the screen reader how to process these updates. In this case, I have off. This is a uh, switch off the leave region, but I have also polite, assertive, and rude. Uh, these are the different modes uh, to tell the screen reader if it must interrupt the user intervention, in this case the user speech, the speech of the, of the content, or if uh, I have to wait uh, before interrupting the user. For example, polite is used to wait for the screen reader to, uh, to be idle uh, before uh, telling the different uh, changes, the updates. And rude is interrupt uh, the screen reader instantly. Okay, and I have also the area label again, and I have the area atomic that is used to tell the screen reader, okay, this region has different content that is being updated, but uh, I only want to tell the screen reader the new content in this region. For example, imagine a chat, uh, a chat log. I don't want the screen reader to read every message every time. Uh, I want only to read the new messages that are appearing in the in the lib region. Okay, wait a minute. <coughs> so I have many different uh, roles also for lib regions. I have this um, this uh, these different possibilities. I have the I cannot see from here. Okay. Region is a, a generic uh, multi-purpose uh, region. You can use it uh, for everything, for any kind of, of region that you want. You have also log for chats, for different uh, updates that you want uh, of error logs, for example, or, or comments or something like that. Uh, status for status, uh, bar, uh, status bars and, and this kind of things. For example, the Twitter, a counter, the down counter of the charts that are left is a good example of this. Uh, alert is used for alerts, for errors, for these kind of things. Uh, and you have also progress bar, and uh, the name tells everything. And uh, marquee for information that is scrolling and timers and so on. So, uh, how to implement this? I will show you this example. This is the typical form validation uh, thing. 
Okay, I have username, I have password. In this case, I, I have put two restrictions. Uh, the, the, the fields cannot be blank, but in this case, I will consider this a warning. And I have also added an error message for uh, users that are blocked in this site. In this case, they will use the root instead of the polite. So, it is uh, very easy. I have only to put the normal validation and I have here two different, in this case, spans that uh, use the role attribute for the regions. I, have, I am using here a multiple post because uh, alert is not working very well at, the, at this time. <coughs> so region works better for the moment. Uh, and I have uh, used different different modes for area leave that is there. Okay, area leave polite and area leave root for the error. Okay, so uh, the JavaScript is this. This is the normal validation. I I have no nothing special here because this is the, the thing that you would normally do. I have no area here, okay? I'm just uh, putting the content inside the spans. If, if I have this kind of error, I do uh, this thing and so on. So, I think this is all, okay. Again, the screen reader. <coughs> JAWS for Windows is ready. Power. Oh tap example colon aria land example colon back aria tap aria example colon live regions shift tap tap live regions visit enter okay aria example I have here uh, control dash control dash okay so first let's see what happens tap username method required type in text okay username required uh, you have seen in the presentation oh, tab. PowerPoint slide here show. that I have slide. also added the area required true. Okay, this means that the screen reader will interpret this as a required field. You you have no need in this case to put the um, the asterisk means required for the screen reader. Is it it is already oh, known? because of the area required uh, thing. Okay, I can try to go out of this uh, field. In, indeed, I went to the presentation and here is the message, but. Tab, password, password edit required. Type in text. Please enter your username. Okay, this is polite. The screen reader has uh, waited for the uh, speed to stop. And then in the idle state, he has it has read the message that I put there, okay? And the same for password, for example. Tab, pocket button. You must write a password. Okay, I have changed it to the button. Uh, it reads the button and then it says, hey, you must uh, enter a password. Shift, but shift tab. let's see what happens if I write the wrong name, the blocked name. D-A-R-T-H-V-A-D-E-R. Okay, I go out of the field and Arc. this user has been blocked. It has stopped the screen reader from reading the next field because it is in root mode. Okay, this is for important alerts, obviously, for things that you don't want uh, the user to miss. <coughs> the problem with root is that you can see that now I am in, a, in the second field, but the user really doesn't know that he is in the second field, okay? So maybe in this case I can change the focus again to the to the first field and so on. But uh, these kind of things you have to to be careful with them All tab, PowerPoint <coughs> because slide. they can be very confusing for the user. Unloading enter PowerPoint slide show dash. <laughs> okay, and uh, the function. Okay. And I will finish with, a, with an example of custom widgets. Custom widgets are, are the kind of things that you want to, uh, to do when, uh, when you want visual design, when you have uh, something that you really 
uh, don't have the HTML control, the HTML uh, tag or element that uh, meets the function that you want. So in this case, for example, I have here a typical uh, radio button, uh, radio group with custom uh, radio buttons. I want to, to achieve this, this result, this visual result, but I want it to be accessible also. So I don't have an HTML uh, styling, uh, I, I, don't, I don't have the possibility to style radio buttons in, a, in this fashion, usually. So uh, you always uh, go to different uh, possibilities of uh, doing the strange things uh, <laughs> and these are not usually very accessible. This is the typical HTML code, the normal HTML code. Uh, obviously, uh, if you do these kind of things, <coughs> the best way to proceed is to first have this uh, code and with progressive enhancement techniques uh, change this code for the next one that in this case is uh, an image and a spam for a styling and so on. Okay? This is the normal way to proceed. You will change this for uh, for the screen for the screen reader now for for visual styling. Okay. So the dark side solution, <laughs> the typical solution that most developers do is to add the on-click event to the image, for example. Uh, so they change the things, okay, image, on-click, I change the image, I change the, the class of the, of the image. Here I have uh, the image, has a class name, and I change this class. But this means that I have not changed the alternative text of the, of the image, for example. So for the screen reader, even if, if I change the, if, even if the screen reader could uh, change this, this setting, this image, uh, it will not be informed about the change in the alternative text. That is what uh, the screen reader really reads. So this is the dark side solution. What happens with this? That I have, uh, I have access I have the possibility to uh, click the, the different uh, things here. Okay, I can change it. Oh, it works. Uh, the first problem here is that I have not uh, added a, an on-click event here. So even if I click here, it doesn't work. This is the first one. But with the keyboard, I cannot do anything. I cannot change anything with the keyboard because I am tabbing through the rest of the web page. Next, uh, vamos bien de tiempo. Bueno. Uh, so this is the typical situation. You always think in the mouse because you use a mouse, and this is the way that you proceed. That most developers proceed. Sorry. Uh, and sometimes you remember also that fingers exist and you program something for the tactile systems. In this case, uh, probably uh, since most uh, events of the mouse, the on-click event, for example, is uh, transformed uh, via the on-tap event, usually your, your applications work with the tactile systems because it is a trick, really. You are not programming for the on tap. You are programming for the on click, but the on tap transforms to on click and everything works. But what happens with the keyboard? The keyboard is rarely uh, supported by most applications, and uh, you should do this. So you have the Padawan uh, solution. Here I have the code for a. Uh, um, solution that uses the keyboard the the keyboard so first i have a modularity i am transforming the the old application to something more usable at least uh, first i have modularity you see that i have here an activate function and the uncheck all so i can add these functions to my code 
and uh, I can control them, uh, them via different events. In this case, they are uh, device independent functions and the uh, event handlers are added uh, later. Here I have the first of these, of these things. I have, uh, if I don't remember, okay. <coughs> Instead of images, I add the on-click event to the list items. So I have now the, the full uh, list item to click uh, and I use already the activate functions and the uncheck functions. <coughs> so uh, I need also to control the keyboard because until now I have only the on-click but now I will go to the keyboard. Uh, so I use tab index, the tab index attribute that allows you to include or exclude uh, elements from the order, the tab order. So here is the function. I just uh, go through the loop and assign the tab index only the first item, the tab index, uh, the item zero will get the tab index. Uh, zero so in the first place this this uh, control will have the tab in the first of the three radio buttons okay and I have a later the on key app function that will uh, receive the events the keyboard ev events and I have also to add these two functions I have the prep and next function this is just to uh, know what the next list item is okay so I will use them in the keyboard uh, in the event handler <coughs> so I have here the code okay it is just adding the uh, on key up and controlling the different keys that I can press here so I have the down arrow to go to the next uh, button the up arrow to go to the previous one uh, if it is the first one I use the, prev the prep uh, function to control this and lastly I have the uh, the, 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 the on key the, the spacebar to mark or uh, to check the radio button I will show you how this works and Okay. Uh, first, without the screen reader, I can go to the to the first one, to the second one. I am using up and down just to go through the different uh, through the different options. Okay, and with the space bar, I can <coughs> mark them. Okay, this is perfect, except that what happens with the screen reader? JAWS for Windows is ready. Power Alt Tab. Micro Alt Tab. Okay. Shift Tab. Shift. In this case, I will go to this tab. element. Tab. Princess Leah Crack. Back. Are the example colon live regions dash. Sorry, because I I'm not sure if I press it. Check graphic. Check example okay. colon radio dash group with. With keywords. Okay. Tab, check, it. In this case, I have the uh, the first radio button. In theory, I am in a radio button. So Shift tab, check, Princess Lee, sl slower. Tab, check, Princess Leah graphic checked. Check Princess Leah graphic check. It has read a graphic, not a radio button, for the user. This is not a radio button. This is a graphic, and it is checked in theory. Okay, it is checked, but Princess Leah. But hey, what happens? Darth Vader. Graphic unchecked. Graphic unchecked. Luke Skywalker. I am moving up and down. Graphic now unchecked. Now up. Darth Vader. Graphic unchecked. Graphic unchecked. Princess Leah. Graphic checked. Okay, let's move right and left. H E C K E D P e R I N C E S S space. What is this? I'm moving 
right and left and up and down. But the screen reader is using the keys for its own purposes. Unloading job enter example. So what happens here is that the screen reader traps the keyboard event. So you cannot uh, trust that your application will work with normal code with keyboard events because in reality the, the screen reader is using these events to control the next letter, previous letter, uh, up and down through the different lines of the content. These are the normal keys for the screen reader. So what can we do here? Because if not, we cannot do anything with the keyboard uh, for the screen reader. ARIA is the solution. Here, role application. It is the only thing needed to control the screen reader or to prevent the screen reader from trapping the keyboard. In this case, I can add role application to any component and automatically the screen reader will use the normal keyboard. <coughs> and it is so simple. You have the role application in the div, in the container div of the whole radio group in this case. And I can add also different roles for my custom widget. In this case, I have the role radio group for the container of the three radio buttons and the role radio for every list item in my custom widget. And the second thing that I have to do is to inform the screen reader about the updates in this check and check uh, thing. And it is exactly the same function as previously and I have only added the JavaScript to set the attribute uh, for ARIA check it, in this case, to the custom widget. ARIA check it true, ARIA check it false. And that's all. I don't need anything else. As you can see, my functionality is already done. So this is the Jedi solution. <laughs> the Padawan one is the uh, solution that will not work with the screen reader. But in this case, the, this one will work also. I will show you if I can find it. Jaws for Windows Alt Tab, PowerPoint Slides Alt Tab, Alt Tab, Pow Alt S Slower. Okay. So I will change to the radio Tab, button. Princess Leah radio button checked one of three. Princess Leah radio button checked one of three. Okay. Now it is reading exactly what I intended to do. This is a radio button. So it has to be read as a radio button. If I go down now. Radio button not checked Darth Vader two of three. Okay. Maybe you cannot see the change, but for the screen reader, it is the new radio button. And I go down again. Radio button not checked Luke Skywalker three of three. Not checked and so on. So I will go up again, for radio example. Button not check Darth Vader two of three. And spacebar. Space. Darth Vader radio button checked two okay. of three. So Luke now space. Re re space. Re space. Darth Vader radio button checked two of three. Okay. So it is working now. Unloading job. Enter. Example tap. And uh, boo -boo 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 -boo. so that's all. That's everything that you have to do. Just add some simple attributes, some simple uh, classes, some uh, dynamic uh, attributes also for ARIA, but it is not uh, very difficult. I have here some resources that you can find when I uh, upload the, the slides. Uh, here you have the W3C uh, documentation, the Y area specification. Uh, obviously, the Y area specification is the reference, but uh, these other documents, the Y area primer and the authoring uh, best practices, are better for starting with the development. Here you can find the uh, two screen readers, the most used screen readers in Windows, in this case, uh, JOS uh, 13, 
is the last version, is the version that works best, and NVDA has also very good support. But it depends on the browser that you use. For example, Firefox has a very good support, but uh, Google Chrome is not so good, Safari is not so good, and Internet Explorer, strangely, <laughs> in the 9 version, uh, is more or less good. In the 8, is not very good. But, uh, and lastly, I have uh, some other resources. The Mozilla Development Network is a very good resource, and you have also the jQuery UI demo, uh, because in jQuery UI, in the new version, uh, all the widgets, or more or less all the widgets, are accessible by default, have this area uh, in size. Okay, so my last word is just that mm, please do this. It is very easy and you are the only one that can do this. Your boss will not pay you for doing this, but the blind users will uh, thank you. Thank you.